What's up YouTubers? This is going to be an unboxing. It's a Kilowatt Easy P4400. Um and it's going to be one-handed. And let's get started. There's a little it's a little awkward right here. It's poking out. It's kind of hard too. Once again, I broke my tripod. If you remember how it went, Use my leg. Order this off of Amazon. Oh, this is gonna suck. There we go. Let's see if there's a packing slip. Nothing. Oh, yeah, there is a packing slip. And then here it is. Here's the kilowatt easy. From P3 International. And this is going to be an unboxing and review. Um, I don't see where it says P4400, but it's called a Kilowatt Easy. And it supports 115 watts, volts, I mean, up to 125. So this is not universal. Oh, there's the P4400, 4460. There we go. My bad up to 15 amps and then that's about it only 5 ounces so let's go ahead and get started Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, I'm good. So, y'all saw what happened. I love this packaging. Super hard plastic. So, here's the overall specs. Now you can cut your energy cost in half and find out which appliances are taking the most energy. Um, the Easy does all the calculating for you. Um, it can tell you how many watts, vampire power, if you know what that is when you plug it in and it takes power when you're not using it um, and the overall features layout and calculate cost measurements and operating cost like that and recycle good get that out of the way and then here's a unit overall take this little sticker off has cost month <clears throat> and here it is kilowatt easy these buttons are soft click there's your little speaker bar p3 your ground your and your two plugs and then yeah it has my serial number back here but it doesn't really matter and that's it and here's the operating manual, P44660. And this tells you basically how to use it, what things, what features there are. And let's see. It comes with a six month warranty. Six months. There we go. It'll open a little bit more. It tells you there are no serviceable serviceable parts inside, or it says do not open. Risk of shock. Um, read instructions. You can service it though, just barely though. 
It says, do not service it yourself. And this is its accuracy chart within 0.2% or 0.5% depending on the bolt, the amps, and the frequency and all that. This, this is for everything. And here it is. And here's your quick start guide. So here, here is the kilowatt. I'm kind of in an awkward position right now. But um, I'm ducking my head, head, and it's a little. There's a little glare right here, but you can see it's been connected for five minutes, and then you press min, you press up and down, no, you press the menu button, and then you can cycle through all your stuff. Right now, that's the voltage. <clears throat> um, my voltage is a little bit high right now, 125. It's usually around 120. Well, at least it should be. I have probably like 30 year old wiring. You turn on the AC and like the whole house dims for a little bit. Alright, you can press up and down right here. Right now, this is the PF. I have no idea what that stands for. The power fre frequency? Power factor. Oh, I see. Apparently, it's 00 through 11 through 1 power factor. It's mine's 0.58. I have no idea what that means. That is not the Hertz. Um, I press up or down again. That's the frequency, 59.9. That, that's good. It's around 60. You press it again. That's a uh, VA. That's um 25 VA. It's like your average of volts and amps and watts added together, divided by something. Press it again. There's your watts. I'm using a um a 13 watt. GE fluorescent lamp and it says 14 watts so I don't know if that's within the margin of error or if that's actually how much the, the lamp is using 14 watts press it again it tells you how many amps 20 amps press again there's your volts and you cycle through it and then you press menu and your total cost so far zero dollars Per hour on 14 amps, zero zero dollars. Per day, eight cents. If you leave it on all day, 24 hours. Per week, that's 58 cents. And per month, five two dollars and 52 cents. Now this is based on the factory settings, uh, and this is all year 30 30 dollars and 66 cents on 14 watts, all year, all day. All month, and you press it again. This is based on the on the factory settings. When you plug it in, this is the factory um, rate. So basically, you're supposed to set this to based based on your um, state and um, county or parish if you live in Louisiana, because you're so special. Um, so mine should be lower than the I live in Mississippi. Um, point twenty five twenty five cents for a kilowatt is kind of expensive over here, or it's expensive in general. But um, you can adjust this. You just hold down set and wait for it, and you can change it right here, and then press set to save. And that's really it. And then, like, say you unplug it. Oh. Man, I didn't mean to do that. This is the kilowatt easy, so it does have a backup battery. So it will it should remember what my last settings were. Yeah, there we go. Eight eight minutes. That's good. This thing is really really hard to unplug. Like, you wouldn't even understand. All right. I can go ahead and press reset and it'll reset. Oh, I'm supposed to plug this in first. This is the Altec Land 6 power supply speaker for speakers. It's really hard to plug in and the hold down reset. Plug it back in my light. So, um, now go back. 
somewhere up down you have to play around with it to really find it hmm there we go it's using 0.4 watts I mean 4 watts my bad it should be higher when I play some music now if I was to turn off the speakers back here and keep this plugged in it just jumped to 5 but it should be draining like some power if you haven't noticed all power supplies have a little once again the whole thing came off unplug, unplug this all power supplies have a efficiency level you see this this is 4 you see that you have to really look at it to find it this also popular apple charger does have it you have to look at it it's down there it's above the green sticker to the left above and left if we'll focus here but this is a five I don't know if you see it it's right over here you see it it's a five it's a circle it's not the UL you see it it's above the green sticker five all right a bunch of stuff has is all most power bricks like like my Western digital power power brick efficiency level five right there and then like my laptop charger it's a five and then like my H my HP laptop charger is a three so that usually means when you plug in and you're not using power usually it's drawing power it's not energy star basically so basically this has the been the unboxing review of the kilowatt easy or 4460 and that's basically all I have to say about it there's really nothing else thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe